Assalamualaikum everybody. I'm back here with another video. Um, today we are going to be making alu kima desi style. And before we start the video, I just want to thank you all for subscribing, liking the previous video, leaving the comments on in below. Um, what do you call it? We will eventually, we're trying to hit our 100 mark, which is basically 100 subscribers, but we are trying to hit that 100 subscribers. So please subscribe and like the video, share it to your friends. Um, anyways, I just want to thank you guys for that. And also, I hope you guys are staying safe from outside of Corona and everything. There's also a Delta variant going on and people are getting sick and people are passing away lately. So please stay inside. Please stay your six feet distance if you are going outside. And anyways, also wear your mask. Um, also get vaccinated. Anyways, we're going to start the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. Anyways, enjoy. So the first thing, first things first, what you guys want to do is you want to get one kg of kima, which is basically ground beef. And we have ginger and garlic paste, and they're both mixed together, one tablespoon. We have one small onion cut in, chopped into little pieces, kind of like this, chop them into little pieces. And we have two tomatoes, which we put into the freezer, that's why it's all iced up. But that's fine. Even if you have normal tomatoes, that's good. And first things first you guys want to do is you guys are going to put in your kima, which is basically one kg of kima. So we're going to put one kg of kima, and we are going to turn on the heat to high. That should be good. Next things next, we are going to add our garlic and ginger paste inside. And we are also going to add one cup one cup of uh, water. And in our language, we call it Barney. Now we are going to add one, our small onion. And we are going to add our two tomatoes. Next we are going to add is one teaspoon of red pepper. We have one teaspoon of salt. We have quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Mix that all together. It's a little dried up in there because there's water in here. But that's good. Now we are going to add cumin or coriander powder. This um, this is one teaspoon both. Both of them are one teaspoon. And we are going to add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and teaspoon of, what do you call it, um, crushed red peppers. There you go. Now we are also going to add red kashmiri red pepper and this is for color it'll bring out the color in your um sauce oh kima basically make sure you guys mix well and after mixing well we are going to cover this for 10 minutes 10 minutes only as you guys can see it is done so between the 10 minutes so at first i mixed it right in between those 10 minutes, I uh, double checked and mix it again so it would cook thoroughly and all the um, spices are together. So this is what it should be looking like. It should be sizzling. And the next thing's next, we are going to add one cup of olive oil. I definitely recommend olive oil because it's a healthy solution. And make sure you guys mix well. And turn down your heat a little bit because it's kind of getting a little too much. Make sure you guys mix very well so the olive oil gets in all the uh, all the meat thoroughly. Now, as you guys can see, after a little bit of mixing, you guys can fry it, but I'm gonna fry it. Ooh, that is hot. Alright, there you guys go. Wow. Oh, first class. This tastes really good. It's in the back of my throat, this spice. At this point, if you guys want, you guys can add um, more salt. But at this point, this is good for me. If you guys want it more salty, that's fine with me. But <coughs> you guys can choose whatever you guys want. Because in my opinion, I definitely recommend this. But if you guys want a little bit more salt, that's fine. Now... As in the title of this video, I said, kima, uh, alu kima. 
So, aloo means potatoes. Now, we're going to add three big potatoes. I cut them up into little pieces, as you guys can see. Make sure you guys mix very well until your aloo is tender. Now, we are going to mix it for 34 minutes on high heat. And then after that, we are going to cover it. And we are going to leave it there for 10 to 15 minutes on slow heat to tenderize our potatoes. After waiting 15 minutes and cooking it on slow heat, we are now going to add very small chopped onions. We only used one onion. As you can see, it's very small. Like, very small. Make sure you guys mix them very well. And, yeah. And, I'm also going to add a little bit of cilantro. Well, a lot. And now we are also going to add green peppers. Uh, you can put as many as you like for uh, taste, basically. And spice. And it also increases smell. Basically, it smells good. And we're also going to add a little bit of gunna masala, maybe a pinch or two. And that's good. <clears throat> we added one teaspoon, but... Or no, a quarter of a teaspoon. But that's good if you guys want. Make sure you guys mix very well. And after you guys are done mixing, we are going to cover this for five minutes. On low heat. At this point, we are finished. Now, we're going to mix it on a little bit. As you guys can see, there's goo. And we are going to pour it. And you guys can eat this with chowl, with roti, with naan, anything you guys would like. I definitely recommend you guys should try it with naan roti. I mean, chowl is pretty good. You guys can try it with right, right, white rice or just normal rice, like with spices and stuff. I definitely recommend you guys should try our aloo kima, like what we're making right now. It is very delicious. As you guys, like as you guys know, I already tasted it earlier. It was really good. I definitely recommend. It. Um, also, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and you guys just like skip through the video. Just decide, oh, I want to see this guy uh, put a review. <laughs> but please leave a, like, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, um, also, my mom made uh, roti. My mom made roti. And what do you call it? We'll make a video on how to make these eventually. And yeah, pretty much. We're going to try it. Now, I'm going to taste test the roti. As you guys can see. My mom made really good roti. I definitely recommend you guys should try this eventually when we make the video. And now we are going to be eating our aloo and kima. Wow. That is great. Anyways, please leave a like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys try this at home. For yourselves, I def definitely recommend you guys should try this at home. I say recommend too often, but yeah, please leave a like and subscribe. Please stay safe. Um, anyways, peace.